everyone. Okay, so I have a review and giveaway for you. This review is on the Rockin' Green Laundry Detergent. Is that focusing? And um, Rockin' Green sent me three samples, which is two to four loads per package. Um, so it's up to 12 loads of uh, laundry detergent. I got the Bare Naked Babies in Soft Rock. Um, according to their um, map on their website, I, have, I live in an area where there's soft water. So um, I got the soft water kind, the soft rock, um, and like I said, Bare Naked Babies. Now, Bare Naked Babies is um, no scent whatsoever. Um, their soft water version, they do not put um, scents in. Um, and I believe that's due to some type of... Um, problem they had with their um, original formula. Um, so I'm pretty sure that now that the soft rock only comes in uh, bare naked babies. But they do have several different um, scents that you can order from if you get the hard rock or classic rock or some of the other ones that they ha may have. That may be all that they have. But um, anyhow, yeah, hard rock and classic rock. So um, it says two to four loads. And on the back of the package, it says two to three tablespoons per load. Um, so I started out with two, seeing as how um, I use two tablespoons of all of my other cloth diaper detergents. I figured two tablespoons of this would work just as well. Um, so I used it, and I pulled my diapers out, and my diapers smelled really clean. Um, so that was that. I threw them in the dryer, dried them, moved on. Um, I continued to use it that way, and my son all of a sudden started to get a really, really bright red bottom, almost like he was getting a chemical burn on his bottom. So um, I contacted Rock and Green and wanted to kind of troubleshoot through the problem to kind of figure out if I was doing something wrong or if I got the wrong detergent. Um, so they recommended that I do several hot washes, um, which by the time I got the message that they had recommended that, I was already in the process of doing that. So I turned my hot water heater all the way up as hot as it would go, and I just kept doing hot water washes. And there was tons and tons and tons of suds coming out of my diapers. So it was leaving a buildup on my diapers. Um, so I got it all washed out, and Rock and Green recommended that I use one tablespoon of Rock and Green for a load of diapers as opposed to the two, since I have soft water. Um, and they say to use one with um, an HE machine as well. So, anyhow, I used one, and my diapers came out smelling clean. But I decided that I was going to run a few more hot washes just to kind of see where I was at with. Um, how it was working, and again, I had tons and tons of bubbles still coming out of the um, the diapers. So, um, I was having a really difficult time getting all the soap out of the diapers. Now, that may not be the case for other people, but that was the case for me. Um, I know a lot of people um, swear by Rock and Green, and um, I do think it cleans very well. But for some reason, my uh, water or my, for some, something maybe with my water and my diapers, it was just kind of holding on to the soap. Um, and so I don't think it really worked for me, but um, it is, it does work for cleaning your diapers. It just wasn't really good for getting it, the soap out of my diapers. So, no big deal. Still cleans well. Um, it's worth a try. You know, you it's kind of like cloth diapers. You have to kind of try a whole bunch of different cloth diapers to find out what works for your baby. Uh, and I think Cloth diaper detergent is the same way. You kind of have to try a whole bunch of different detergents to kind of find what's going to work for you and what's not. I've tried an array of detergents, um, and it's really true. You really need to just try all the detergents out there, find out what works and what doesn't work. Um, it's just a trial and error type thing. So um, definitely check out Rock and Green. They do have... Um, like I said, several different scents that you can choose from. They have hard rock, soft rock, and classic rock. Um, just know that the soft rock doesn't have any scent to it. Uh, and there is a map on their website where you can check out to find out um, if you would need the hard, classic, or soft rock. And I think uh, they are holding some type of um, little game right now or 
where if you get some kind of a ticket in your bag of rock and green, you may win a prize. Um, I read that somewhere on maybe Rock and Green's um, Facebook page. Um, I'm not positive on the details of that, so you might want to check that out. Um, so if you haven't already bought some Rock and Green and you're looking into getting some, you might want to buy some now so you might can win a prize. Um, but um, for the giveaway, you're going to win one bag, a, a whole lot, a whole load bag. I think it's 45 slash 90 loads um, in the uh, scent of your choice in hard, classic, or soft rock. So that's a great giveaway. I'm going to let this giveaway run for one week. So hurry up and get your entries in. Um, in order to enter, you one, must be my subscriber here to YouTube. And two, you must like um, Rock and Green on Facebook. I'll leave a link below. Tell them that Rachel from Video Product Reviews sent you. And thank them for the giveaway with Video Product Reviews. And it's that simple. Come back here, leave me a comment, tell me you are my subscriber, you like them on Facebook, and tell me what detergent you want. Hard rock, soft rock, or classic rock, and what scent do you want if you win. Very simple. Um, there are a few other ways that you can gain extra entries into the giveaway, so be sure to check those out below in the description box. And thanks for watching, and good luck.